Well, Dan, we saw earlier it was a fantastic day around the peninsula and also just around the central coast in general. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, if you love sunshine, you like warm temperatures in the winter, this is your kind of jam here on the central coast. Here's a live look from Carmel tonight. Sun yet to set, uh, 540 or so. It's what I expected to hide behind the horizon tonight. Otherwise, no clouds in the skies at all. It's been a very clear one. And with these dry days with not much moisture in the atmosphere to hold on to the heat, that means that the days can be warm, but the nights will be cold. It was another chilly start to the day today and overnight tonight. I'm expecting temperatures to be quite cool. Once again, be seasonable to slightly cool for this time of year. Here's a look at your temperature trends. If you're going to be out and about until 9 p.m., around 50 degrees for most cities around the bay. Low to mid 40s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Inland areas be seeing 30s once again as well. But our temperatures are expected to warm over the next several days, and we already are warm right now for the most part on average. High pressure still in control here across the West Coast. So if you're sitting in your hotel room thinking, boy, it's time to head back to the East Coast. You know, you're here for golf. Maybe I'm heading back to Chicago, Minneapolis, something like that. It's very cold there. You may want to just see if you can extend your stay a few more days because the weather's going to get even better as we head into the work week. We're talking highs on the coast in the 70s, on the beaches. It's looking really nice. We definitely need the rain, but it's not coming anytime soon. So I suppose we might as well enjoy that nice warm weather as this ridge just sits right on the west coast. Futurecast is going to show that skies stay clear overnight. We'll have a light offshore breeze overnight. And uh, as we head into the day tomorrow, we'll start the day sunny and stay that way with a light sea breeze kicking in in the afternoon. There will be a few low clouds offshore, and it's possible they could get close enough to tickle the peninsula. But uh, if that happens, it will be brief and really won't affect the temperatures at all tomorrow as we just get a light sea breeze tomorrow afternoon. So there you go. That's your Monday, sunny and Maya. Let's get a look at some temperatures tomorrow. We're going to see some very warm readings across the region. We're talking highs returning to the 70s in some areas. Ben Lomond, for example, Boulder Creek, Scotts Valley in the 70s, Felton will get close in Santa Cruz. Should be a beautiful day on the boardwalk. Your normal high this time of year in Santa Cruz right around 64, 65 or so. So we're above that, 67 in Capitola. Even in the Bonnie Doon area, you're going to be in the mid-60s tomorrow. We go to Watsonville. How about a high in the 70s? Salinas coming back to 74 tomorrow. Hollister at 70. Even Marina in Castroville. Aptos in the upper 60s tomorrow. The Monterey Peninsula, if you're sticking around for a few more days, highs in the mid to upper 60s. Temperature should be very close to what we had today. Maybe a touch warmer, but only by a degree or so. 68 Monterey. And Carmel tomorrow, 69 degrees. Farther south, look at these readings. The Salinas Valley, mid-70s. I've got Soledad as my hot spot tomorrow, 75 degrees. We're rolling the dice. See if it's really happening in Soledad. Otherwise, pretty warm in Carmel Valley, Big Sur as well. Parkfield, the cool spot in the south in the afternoon with a high of 68. Bradley, you get down to 27 overnight, so it does get cold at night. Over the next seven days on the coast, take a look at this. I mean, temperatures by Thursday and Friday probably about six to seven degrees warmer than today. So that is very warm for this time of year. We may be knocking on the door of a few records. Yeah, so uh, get ready for some warm weather. I've got it sunny really all the way through next weekend. We may see a few low clouds approaching the coast, but that's about it. Long-term trends looking very dry. Next couple of weeks, just don't see any rain breaking through this pattern. Inland areas would not be unheard of to see some spots reaching the 80s by as early as Wednesday. And then perhaps really through the rest of the week, our inland averages in the mid to upper 70s. So, yeah, I guess if we definitely need the rain, but we might as well enjoy the nice weather while it's here. Send a postcard to your friends in Duluth, Minnesota. <laughs> Thank you, news that are out about now. Thanks, Dan.